cones? <laughs> Parker, your snow cone just kicked this heat wave right in the fanny. Over here, Russell. Breakfast is ready, Parker. You're gonna want to get in here before Russell eats it all. The coup de gras. Premium grass-fed beef. Applewood smoked bacon seared to perfection. Oh, we should probably learn the meat vendor's name. Eh, probably. How many jumps you need? However many you think a soccer team that Parker plays on needs. Here, eat more crystals. Don't mind if I do. I love you, baked beans. Mmm. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is one scrumptious salad, kiddo. Thanks, Angus. It's totally organic, too. I gathered all the ingredients from the forest, mostly from that poison oak patch over there. Poison oak? Sour and cheese. Russell, ketchup, please. Mm, ketchup. Oh, how I love you so much. Tangy, sweet, and creamy. Now, am I detecting notes of dill? Probably. and only so much stick to stick it on. Don't beat yourself up, Parker. We can fix this. Get it while it's hot, kiddo. Sure thing, friend. Oh, no. I forgot to wash my hands. But I still don't know what to do about my night booms. Parker, don't feed it. But she looks hungry and sick. Sad. Who loves chocolates? Souffles can be very, very temperamental. Hey, Angus! Here you go, fresh out of the oven. Well, looks good, kiddo. There's no creepy crawlers in it, are there? Creepy crawler free. Snow cones on the house. Uh -huh. um, I like food. Good talk. That's your position, Parker. <laughs> oh, well. Angus, it would be an honor to have you on the team as Water Cloud. Wow, really? If we say the B word, you know what happens. <laughs> hey, Angus, are we still giving Russell a bath? Is it me, or did I just master baking? Hi, Angus. <laughs> Give them a full loaf of my sorry I ruined your life toast. Forgiveness is baked right into the crust. <laughs> Who wants fish nuggets fresh from the oven? <laughs> Here you go, girl. Now remember, don't eat them too fast. <laughs> Not gonna work, girl. Good morning, Angus. Parker, what are you doing up so early? Uh, you know what they say, the early worm catches a bird because birds are the worst. 
And you made breakfast? Mm-hmm. Great. Glad we can all agree on that. Who you talking to, Parker? Bert. Oh, Bert can talk? He can say yes or no, which is pretty much talking. Right, Bert? That's a yes. One pop is yes, two pops is no. I call it Bertugese. Hey, Bert. Did I order the cheeseburger and crab toast today? Golly gee, Bert was right. I ordered the steak and lobster toast. Uh, is it extra soggy? It's been sitting in a bowl of water for three days. Can't get much soggier than that. Thanks, Pam. I can't eat all the cookies and drink all the milk in every house we visit. How come? Santa does. Delicious. Next! Hi, Parker. What do you think of my new cooling suit? Pretty cool. Ha <laughs> ha. Kind of busy right now, Lily. Next! Hmm. Next! Next! <sighs> Everything okay, hon? No, Miss Pam, it is not okay. All I wanted to do was get Angus something awesome he really wanted. I meant the toast. Oh, toast is great. Thanks. Mmm, this charcuterie the bomb. <gasps> okay, I got it. I was worried for a minute there wouldn't be enough. Enough what? Meat's on a stick! <laughs> Uh, Parker, I don't think this is a meat on a stick kind of party. A roasted marshmallow? Pinata party! Oh no! I have to go to the little grub's room. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, accidents happen. That's the thing about knickknacks and doohickeys. Sometimes they break on accident. I was never here. Ooh, I forgot my toast. Remember, I was never here. Jammy good! Ah! Whoa! In an attempt to make my great great Grand Pam's mystery jam, I accidentally made Jammy. Hi, Jammy. I'm Parker. Jammy good. Jammy has opened my eyes as well as my heart. No longer do I see jam as simply a condiment made of pressed fruit and sugar. How could I? Jammy good. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Toast without jam is just plain unnatural, Parker. I feel you, big guy. You saw how much Miss Pam loved Jammy. I did. Mm -hmm. I also know Miss Pam is a smart businesswoman. When she starts losing customers because of this no jam malarkey, she'll come to her senses. Mind me, it's only my kitchen. Hey, did one of you guys eat my fresh guacamole? Blitzen, I was saving that. Congratulations, Angus. 
You got the last piece of free toast on free toast day. Eat me, Angus. Lunch is on. Ooh, those steaks look delicious, Russell. <sighs> Looks awfully big for my best pal, Kevin. Don't worry. I'll cut it up for you, buddy. Up, up, up. I got it, Parker. No one has cut more steak than your old pal, Angus. I don't like this. <laughs> Just wait for it, big guy. Happy Free Toast Day, everybody! Free Toast for you! Whoa. Free Toast for you! And you! And you! And you! Don't forget you! Behind the buttock for you! <laughs> <sighs> Your basic nachos, sir. Where would you like me to set them? <laughs> Best family vacation ever? I'd like to see someone do better. Help! Help! Oh, help! Help! Oh, don't mind if I do. Help! Help! <clears throat> Man, overboard! Ah! Hot cheese! Oh, 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 oh. Hot cheese, hot cheese, hot cheese. Hey, Russell! Are you sure? We have a private cabana, a peanut butter and chocolate fountain, and DJ General Beats. Ah, hang tight. I'm sure Parker will be here any moment now. Hands off, buddy. Basic fun package only. Somebody asked me for a present. I bring them that present all the way across the world, then they give that present to someone else? Clover gifting. What? Hot toast for the hottest working post peeps on the mountain. Oh, Miss Pam. Once upon a time, I fell madly in love with hot sauce. Ooh-wee! It was a spicy good time, until it wasn't. Here comes the airplane. Open the hangar, Angus. Come on, it's yummy, yummy for big boy's tummy. Ow. I can't fall asleep, because if I do, I'm gonna night thunder again. Need toast for energy. Don't judge me, Bert. I'm really stressed out. I figure we'll watch Ned blow chunks from the crow's nest. Eh, best seats on the whole mountain. My homemade hot cocoa should keep us nice and toasty up there. Ah, oh, Angus, little, little. It's Parker's first big Ned's blowed. Be honest with me, Mikey. The song. It's annoying, right? No. I love it. Oh, fine, I'll say something. But for the record, I'm doing it under protest. Parker, we need to talk. Sure thing, Angus. Just let me put my dishes away. No, Parker. Fine. Yeah. Wait on that. Ooh. Really great on that. Oh, I just want to guzzle it. Okay, we get it. Some steak, some fries, some chicken wings, a little ketchup. Oh, hey, hey, no, no. Just an old friend. I'll put it back. <laughs> I don't need it. Mm. Parker, we need to talk. Is it about how happy I'm making everyone by giving them... Free money? It is. Granted, it's making people happy. Terry! Hands up, my man! Ow! On the real, I feel like I got my mojo back hanging out with you today, P. Dizzle. <laughs> mm. 
Does that mean you'll do the concert? Oh, Angus will be so happy. And I love making Angus happy. Not only am I going to do the concert, but I'm going to perform a brand new song. A song inspired by you, Parker. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh, listen, kiddo, about the game today, I haven't been fair with you. You haven't? Not one bit. <laughs> hey, Parker, you're just in time for dinner. Cheeseburgers and fries, a la Angus. Thanks, Angus. Oh, almost forgot. I know how much you love ranch, kiddo. Not anymore, Angus. Not anymore. Uh. Oh, okay then. More for me. How about some ketchup instead? <gasps> I love ketchup! How I missed you! Come on, there's so many things I can't wait to squirt you on! <laughs> this is my black and brisket rump. Extra rumpy. Mmm. Too spicy for me. Do you have any grilled cheese? Move it along, Junior. Us adults have got things to do. Like buy toilet paper. Kids, right? You want your usual chocolate frosted frankfurter? Yeah, not today. Need to start watching the old LBs, you know what I mean? Give me that. I'll do the lean chicken thigh, no skin, cut in cubes, stick on the side. Ugh. Hey, JC! It's the end of the month, and you know what that means? All expired toast must go. Quitters. I mean, if you don't want to hang out, just tell me. I'm a grown man. I can handle it. You know, it, it, it's the it's the not knowing part that hurts the most. You know what I mean? For more jam. Ah, uh, no. I... Oh, actually, I could use a little more jam. Thanks, buddy. You got it, Angus. Happy to make you happy. <sighs> Can't fault the kid for trying. <laughs> now that we've met our fabulous finalists, let's look back at those who couldn't butter the bread. Husband and wife Blair and Claire made an early exit when they realized neither had ever made toast before or used a toaster. Somebody order a bunch of toast from Toastmates? Brothers Rob and Rod came out of the gate strong with an extra crunchy hot lover cinnamon toast. Turns out they toasted a rock and not bread. Naturally, they were disqualified. Bro, I told you that was a rock. No, uh, bro! Bro! You wanna go, bro? Bro! Off me, bro! Get off me! Our friends from Greenwood made a bold choice choosing to only use recycled food for their toast toppings. It was gross. We asked them to leave. Contestants Reggie and Reggie made some of the finest toast the judges had ever tasted. Oh. This toast is simply divine. No words, man. It's so bad you don't even want to try it? Even though we worked so hard on it and had so much fun doing it together? As best buds? For life? Ah, geez, Parker, I'm sure it's not that bad. Then you'll try it? Okay, maybe just a bite for you. Well, slap my rear and call me Sally. This toast is incredible! You mean it? Absolutely. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. The judges are gonna love this toast. We're gonna win this thing. This toast could be the worst toast that I have ever tasted. Uh, what did I ever do to you, man? Oh, man? Ah, what do they know?